Let's make a peach, brie, cheddar, and smoked mozzarella grilled cheese paired with my Bombay tomato soup. The first step of this recipe is to heat up the Bombay tomato soup. This is a spiced and seasoned tomato soup unlike anything you've had before. It's made in Canada, gluten-free, vegan. It has beautiful spices like garam masala, umchur, which is like dried green mango powder. It's just really tasty. We're gonna pair it with a really fun grilled cheese today. Our second step, I have a pot heating up behind me with some Bombay tomato. We have some butter here. To that, I'm gonna add in a pinch of salt, a little bit of pureed garlic. We're seasoning our butter to give us bigger flavor. Fresh cracked black pepper into the mix. Give this a stir, and then I'm gonna bring in some bread, which I have over here. So two grilled cheese sandwiches, and I'm gonna butter all four sides. Really important that you go edge to edge. Same way if you're spreading peanut butter on toast or jam, edge to edge, it is critical. So I'm gonna do this, enjoy in a second. All four sides are buttered. This is Cobb's Bakery Brioche. Using high quality ingredients is gonna make a big difference in all the dishes that you make at home, especially for this grilled cheese. Flavorful, high quality bread is going to be the game changer, okay? Boom, bread goes down. Let's come in with a little blend that I have. This is uh, shredded smoked mozzarella and uh, some aged cheddar, so big flavor. I'm gonna do both of these right now and I can pick up the scraps later. So what I have here is just a little bit of a cheese blend. Niagara peaches, some of the best peaches you can get anywhere on this planet. Sliced some down. And what we're gonna do is lay down some pieces of this peach here. This is gonna give a nice fruity burst. If you didn't wanna use peach um, and you wanted to use something like mango or pear, that would be amazing. I love the idea of fruit and grilled cheese. It's big flavor. And this might seem like it's a little bit of an odd pairing, but trust me, it works. And it's gonna definitely work with that Bombay tomato soup. This is a whole play on like tomato soup and grilled cheese, but we're gonna take it up a little bit. You know, we're gonna take it up a notch. Next, what I have, because there's not enough cheese, we need mad cheese, of course. Lay down some pieces of brie, and this is a stacked grilled cheese. What you wanna do, if you don't wanna use this cheese blend, you can use whatever blend you want. Just, I would like to recommend that you have a melting cheese in there that keeps everything together. If you use a bunch of firm cheeses, it, it may not have that cheese pull, or it may not be as stringy as you like. So that's why I have both the mozzarella and, and cheddar. It's gonna be nice and cheesy. More cheese, a little bit more cheese on top. This will ensure that like both sides get stuck really well. And then what I'm gonna do is cover this up like this, bring a pan in and we're gonna toast them off. Okay, here I have a beautiful smeg pan, preheating. This goes down. Let's lay our grilled cheese, low heat. Low, low heat. Worst thing you can do is be in a rush and burn these grilled cheese. So I'm gonna drop down our beautiful Sandwiches that we have here. I'm looking for golden brown on both sides and we're gonna peek and check to see that it's nice and stringy and cooked through. Low and slow is definitely the key to this recipe, okay? So really nice golden brown. If any uh, peaches are sliding out or anything, just go ahead and tuck them back in. But it, it does look really nice when things are all escaping. I have a little bit of extra cheese here. So I'm just gonna just take this and put a little bit down. I, in one of my past videos, I did the cheese crust. This is just like using leftover cheese. It's gonna add a little bit more texture and a little bit more character to this grilled cheese when it's flipped. So when this is uh, goes on for another 30 seconds or so, I'll flip it and we'll get like a little bit of a, a crust on the other side. Okay, so the whole grilled cheese process took about 10 minutes and if I flip to the other side, you see we have cheese crusted grilled cheese, right? Really nice, golden brown, awesome. So this comes off the station. What I wanna do is grab one of these very, very hot, lay this down, make sure you can see everything. And I'm going to cut in half, go quickly like this, and I'm gonna move this over to the side of the board. Next, what I wanna do is just plate up the Bombay tomato. So here I have it, just one last ladle to go in, steaming away, delicious, the whole kitchen smells incredible. And uh, I love that I have this product that I can share with you guys. You can bring Chef Dev into your home. Okay, so boom, this is here. One thing I wanna do with this is top it, and to do that, cilantro works really, really well with this. If you don't like cilantro, you can use parsley, or chive, or scallions, but for me personally, the cilantro, even with the peach and all those cheeses, it's gonna go very well. All I'm gonna use for this application is the stems. I love the freshness that it brings. I love the way that it looks visually, and we wanna do nice and fine slices on top. 
of the soup, you can come over here and this goes over there like that. Looks really, really pretty. And then what we wanna do is plate up the grilled cheese. So here I have our grilled cheese, okay, with the peaches, the brie, the cheddar, the smoked mozzarella, mad cheese. And I'm gonna lay this down like that. And here you have a really good combo. Look how unreal that looks. And this gets paired with the Bombay tomato soup. Um, I probably should try this while I can. Uh, this is, I'm gonna cut this one more time just to make it a little bit more manageable. Peach sliding out into the Bombay tomato soup. Hmm. The smokiness of the mozzarella paired with this Bombay tomato soup is very special. The peaches, the cheese, the cheese crust, the garlic butter, there's just so much flavor going on here. Take this recipe, get inspired by it, make your own, but this is definitely a winning combo. I've made more than two grilled cheese, and I'm gonna go ahead and eat them all while sharing with friends and family. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Give this soup a shot, and let me know what you think. Mad love.